Just look at the amazing variety among bowlers. Every size, age, kind, breed, and class from all walks of life. I've loved bowling ever since I was three years old. Week in and week out, my friends and I always relish the sound of a ball crashing into ten pins. Twenty million men, women, and children in America are regular bowlers. Hasn't been the case among many people over the past few decades, however, because our sport has taken a major hit in its popularity. But we are still hanging around, though, and we are enjoying it minute by minute by minute. Join in as you see what it's like to be a bowler. My favorite thing about bowling, well, I guess it's dealing with the people. The mo for the most part, uh, bowlers are a very friendly group, like to have fun, and uh, league bowlers especially, they come each week, so you get to know them quite well. I think that's my favorite part of the, of the game. We've, of course, had our troubles over the past little while since nowadays we aren't always recognized as a sport. A lot of my friends don't think bowling's a sport. Unfortunately, the bowling is, there's, the, in the business part of bowling is two separate games entirely. The, the league bowlers who are very serious about it and public bowlers who just come to have a good time, throw the ball and knock some pins down. A lot of people don't really think bowling is a sport. I think maybe it's more of an activity. So unfortunately or fortunately, public bowlers sometimes look at league bowlers with a little bit of a different attitude. But for the most part, though, I think everybody is still out to just have fun while they're playing bowling. It takes strength. It takes endurance to bowl 8 to 10 games. It takes accuracy and mus muscle memory and all this stuff. It's just, it's, it's a lot harder than people think. And the first thing they always said to me was the next morning, I can't believe how sore I am. What kind of changed their opinion of bowling is actually a little more uh, strenuous on the body than they ever anticipated. Even though we like to goof off on the lane sometimes, don't get us wrong. We know when to put our game faces on in competition. Uh, in my last year of Bantam, I went to nationals in Edmonton and I was so scared, but you know, because it's national stage, it's huge. Um, but then I, I came out and I won gold. It was crazy. I beat the, the biggest competition there, the girl from Manitoba. She's an outstanding bowler, and I, I won. It was crazy. Uh, I guess it was my first time going to nationals, and then after that I came first, and it, was, it just felt really good. So probably the best day of my life. Well, definitely um, uh, meeting the young athletes, especially at a young age, and then helping them along and watching them um, improve over the years and then uh, compete in tournaments and, uh, you know, win. Um, well, I met a lot of new people and I bowled pretty good, but to be honest, other people will better, but hey, that's the luck of bowling. This past year, uh, I went to nationals again in Saskatchewan and it was crazy. I All I wanted to do was was to medal. That was my goal. And uh, I did. I went to a tiebreaker and I had to make this crazy split. If I hadn't made that one split, I, it wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have came third, but it was just the biggest moment of my bowling career, I guess. I just, uh, it was outstanding. I felt amazing. Bowling has been around for over 5,000 years, and hopefully it will be so for 5,000 more. It's a sport. We are athletes. Deal with it.